I said to visit Crips first. Alright, Crips, let's take a look at our handy dandy notebook business opportunity letter. Hey, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Expect me to read this scribble? My friend, some exciting news. I just found out that an old acquaintance and admirer of mine is quite literally back from the dead. A fine woman by the name of Maggie Fike. You might have heard of her. She used to run the biggest moonshine operation west of Chicago back in the day. She's been out of the business for a year or two, but it says that she's ready to start back up and is looking for a partner. I think this could be perfect for you. Moonshining is a tough game, but you can make a lot of money if you play it right, and Maggie's the best there is. She's very fond of me, so I can put... So I put in a good word and set up a meeting. How soon can you get over to Emerald Ranch? There's an old abandoned saloon there that should be nice and private. Just one thing, old Maggie doesn't take any chances when it comes to security. She's been crossed one too many times in the past. Oh my god, Crips, I'm trying to read. Shush! He was a strange man, claimed to be a mute, but talked in his sleep. You done? Okay. Make sure you walk in slowly and hold up seven fingers so she knows that you're safe and not there to jump her. See you there and please hurry. She can't wait to see me. Best Crips. Alright. To Emerald Ranch we go. Alright, Maggie, I have arrived as I am interested in your moonshine startup business. Do not ask my character any questions as he does not talk. That character also does not talk because they are dead. What do we have here? Seven fingers, good. You must be Crip's friend. I'll try not to hold that against you. Your name's Maggie. Thanks for coming. She's back. Jesus, what are you doing? It's me. <laughs> what the hell? I missed, didn't I? Don't come in like a bull through the fence next time, you old fool. Your friend here managed to get it right. Lightning Maggie Fike. We all thought you were dead. Yeah, so did I. Guess you'll be wanting a drink. Oh, come yeah. on, give me a hand. Biggest mistake of my life, not marrying this woman when I had the chance. Yeah, you always did have a colorful memory of things. Anyway, it's too late now. As you can see, I have gone and hit my prime. Well, I heard what happened with Hickson. Oh. Evil son of a bitch. Where you, uh, where you been all this time? Recovering. Lying low. Couldn't barely get out of bed for six months. And your nephew? Them. Still in jail, as far as I know. Uh, you seen Danny Lee yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Cooking for the Braithwaites now. Guess me and him were done. Well, there's always Marcel. Heard he's not working for Leclerc anymore. Feller's a windbag, but he knows his way around still. Yeah, maybe. Feels like it'd be much easier for everyone if I just stayed gone. Mm. But life ain't about being easy. I am taking back what's mm. mine. Mm. I need legs, though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. Long as you know, won't be pretty. I don't do pretty no more. So, uh, what's the buy-in? First things first, I need a cookhouse. What's wrong with this place? Been empty for a while now. No, I need a good basement. I reckon I could try and get one of my old spots back up and running. Bastards seized them all after the raid. You buy me back one of those. I reckon you'll have a fair enough investment. Teach you everything I know. So what you say? Uh, believe me, nobody knows more about moonshine oh, than God, Maggie. I don't know which one to buy. Listen to her. You'll make that back in no time. They're all the same price. Come on, the two of you were made for each other. I don't know what the best location is. Because <laughs> GTI I picked the bunker with the absolute worst location possible. I feel like the Heartlands, I mean, you're right there. I'm going to do the Heartlands. All right, then. Partners it is. You meet me back there when you can. We'll work out what else it is we need when we get set up. Uh, can I offer you a ride, Miss Fike? Suppose so. Well, maybe we can stop for a drink on the way. We just had a drink. <laughs> I know. Now I want another one. Some things don't change. I just hope that wasn't a bad location. 
Moonshine of rank up, rank one. Moonshine operation has been established at Heartlands. Speak to Maggie in the shack to begin setting up the operation. Got some recipes, tropical punch. Ooh, delicious. I am here at my shack. What's next, Maggie? Enter the moonshine shack. Is it? This is my house? Oh, county to hear ya! Look at this place. Whoo wee! We got a table, we got chairs, we got walls. Still in jail and Danny Lee and Braithwaite are still taking our customers. You let me know when you're ready to make a move. We shouldn't I'm sit here this too long. Rescue cook or get equipment? Uh, let's rescue the cook. Alright, well, next on the list is a cook. Can't do much without that. Since Danny Lee sold his soul to the Braithwaites, we've been courting a feller called Marcel. Friend of Cripps used to work as a chef for Jessica Leclerc. But he comes from a long line of French distillers. Seems to know what he's doing. Problem is, another alpha got wind of this and grabbed him. So, Let's see some of that muscle Crips promise me. It's raining and we gotta say good moonshiner rescue Marcel. Go to the rival moonshiner's camp. Marcel is being held prisoner. Find him and rescue him. Okie dokie. Bet he's over where the smoke is. Well, let me take out my uh, beginner weapons here. The uh, carbine and the cattleman. Never upgraded my weapons. Alright, horse. Stay back, bud. I'm go hide behind this rock. You murderers. Let's get a little closer. Off the rock. I don't know why I'm whispering. They can't hear me. How close can we get? I need to see where Marcel is. Rescue Marcel from the enemies. He must be cut free for he will follow you. Alright, so he's the white. Hold on, pause real quick. Stop walking towards me. Alright, so he's up there more. Just want to make sure I don't accidentally shoot him. Take this guy out first. Oh, he's on the ground. Okay. Alright. Open fire. Where you at, bud? You're dead. Oh, you think you're fancy, schmancy. You don't expect to tackle? Oh. Where that was, on band the song. You fought well. I'll cut you loose, but I gotta loot first. You know how it works. Did I get this guy? Alright, we're good. Now I'll cut you loose. Sent you. It was Madame Faker, huh? I knew it. Let's go. Okay, well, I gotta wait for my horse to get here. You don't rush my horse. Wipe your shoes off before getting on my horse. Okay. Come on, Marcel. Taking you home, buddy. <laughs> Rescue mission accomplished. We got company. Head down, Marcel. Where's the other one at? No problem. This would be the time to start shooting, huh? This would be the time to start shooting. 
and I knew that if someone came, it would be Madame Fike. You know her well. She and I have uh, history, uh, you could say. Well, a friend of hers is a friend of mine. That dude won't fly. Did Madame Fike <laughs> tell something about me before she asked you to save my life? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Marcel. I was until recently employed by a lady named Madame Leclerc. Perhaps you know her. Until I was kidnapped, that is. They wanted me for my skills as a brasseur. One who makes a l'eau de vie. Uh, uh, moonshine, yes? Wait a minute. I thought you looked familiar. You came to visit Madame Leclerc once. This, uh, Orly, yes? Oh, you look different now. Your situation... Man, I'm trying to save our lives, and you're just rambling on, Marcel. Continue, though. Uh huh. One of Madame Fike's old hideaways, I see. I have some uh, uh, fond memories here. Excellent. Now, where is Madame Fike? We have in the house. To you dummy. Speak to Maggie right. to finish setting up the moonshine operation. All right, let's get equipment now. Okay then. We're gonna need supplies and equipment so we can set up the still and get started with production. We could buy all this, of course, but why would we do that when we can just borrow exactly. it? Exactly. Now we're on the same from page. Some of the other moonshiners around here and <laughs> kill two birds with one stone. Time to show these folks that Maggie's back. Back for good. Steal the moonshining equipment, go to the rival moonshiner's cabin, steal the equipment from the rival moonshiners, and return them to the moonshine operation. Yeah. Fellas, I'm just here to borrow some things, and when I leave, you might have a bullet in your head, but that's just business. Who do we take out first? Take the equipment. How many people are we dealing with here? Got a wagon right there. We got a couple of dudes. Is the wagon going to start going once I shoot? Maybe I should. Ah, no one's even on it. This guy's just reading the paper. first. Oops. I know there's another one. Where are you at? Can't wait to take that gun off your dead body. Come on. I know there's more. Alright, nice to meet you. Time to loot. And then we're at it. You guys never give anything good. Deliver equipment to the moonshine aberration. Understood. Watch out, Herbert. Coming in about 90 miles an hour. How many enemies are going to try to stop me? I'm guessing at least six. And they will spawn in about ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, five seconds. I was pretty close. Alright, that's two. About four more to go. If I am to make an accurate prediction. I gotta make sure like nothing falls out of this. I'm a little reckless right now. I got the need for speed and I don't plan on slowing down. I gotta reload, time out. Time in. Alright, well. 
That was seven, and there's another one behind me, so. We're already at eight. We're just gonna leave that guy alone. You know, you just met the wrong people, he's in the wrong crowd, you don't really have to punish him for it. He'll learn his lesson eventually. Oh, come on, already? I'm right here. There, no more. Equipment. Now what? What is next? Well, I am happy to say we are officially in business. <laughs> Alizy, I will show you the engine room. <laughs> Thank you for your interventions the other day. I was turning into a rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> so here we are. Nice and private. <laughs> for obvious reasons, huh? There she is. Uh, our still a beauty, huh? Since I've been told that you are new in the business, I was thinking you might need some friendly mentorship. Illicit distillation is a very unique pursuit. Ah, but what is most important are the ingredients for the mash. The more successful the business is, the better the price we can negotiate for those ingredients. Just as we will, the more unsuccessful our competitors are. But that side of things is more the area of expertise of Madame Feig. Anyway, some of our buyers are very exacting when it comes to tastes and flavors. So we will need to adjust our recipes to the demand of our time. Attention! A stronger alcohol sells for more, as you can imagine. But it also takes longer to produce. So that is something else we will need to uh, balance, huh? Well, that's enough for now. Let's get to work. I have a feeling you are going to learn fast. All right, we are in business. Mm -hmm. 